What's going on, YouTubers? It's Down to Vape, and we've got a Smock X Cube 2 f up for review today. Um, it's a 160 watt mod, 218650. It'll fire down to 0.08 ohms, up to 3 ohms. Um, temperature range 200 to 600 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, yeah, it's got a magnetic battery cover, um, Bluetooth. Um, the door on it is a little, it's got a little bit of wiggle play in it, but the magnets do hold it in place very well. The firing bar has a spring-loaded 510 connection. It's a little stiff, but it is definitely spring-loaded. And then we turn it on, one, two, three, four, five. Get our smock. Currently it's set to nickel. Check atomizer, we don't have anything on there right now. If you hold down the fire button and plus, you can adjust from soft, normal, and hard um, to change how quickly it heats up. You can change your mode right from here if you hit the fire and back. So the memory mode, watt mode, temp mode. Uh, if you hit it three times, you can get into the menus. If you want to turn on Bluetooth, you can go and change which mode you're in. Hit it five times, it locks it. Five times unlocks. Three times gets you back into the menu. Now, in temp mode, you can also choose your hardness by just holding. We're going to choose nickel. And you can choose single coil or dual coil, which is very cool. I haven't seen that yet. Okay, LED coloring. You can choose red, green, blue, which means you can actually adjust what the numbers are. You can jump, shade, turn it off even if you don't like it. So let's choose jump. Let's make it fast. And as you can see, that's what it would look like when you're firing. It'll actually count your puffs. The app actually um, allows you to create a plan. If you're trying to uh, hit a certain amount and you don't want to overdose or you want to really keep track of where you're at with uh, your dosage. And this is your settings and power. Now in settings, you can change your screen time, contrast, and the screen direction. So I've seen a lot of people have this actually flipped. You can flip it back with just choosing this. See? To give you a rough size comparison, the X Cube 2 compared to the IPv4 black and the Coupor Mini, which is a brand new mod, and I will be reviewing that also in the near future. Alright, let's get the out how wide they are together. I have modified the IPv4 with a um, new 510. Fat Daddy Vapes, very nice. I will say that the Coupor 510 looks very similar to the um, Smocks. Yeah. And that is a hopefully a decent size comparison to how big they are next to each other. So overall my feelings on this, um, it's definitely a hefty mod, I think it's very nice, um, feels good in the hand, but it does carry some weight. Um, let me screw on an atomizer, this is the uh, TFV4, which is also coming out soon, if it's not already out, I think it's on its way, it's a very nice tank. Um, I will be reviewing this in a separate video. I just want to keep this one short. So this is what it looks like when you 
put it back on and let's choose yes. 0.19, it read it exactly the same as last time, so that's good, consistent. And there's the light up firing. Um, I mean, for the money, it's definitely an excellent device. Um, what is it? I think I've seen it for $69 uh, at Vape Northwest, vapenw.com. Um, I mean, you really can't go wrong for the price point. Uh, yeah. Uh, really no cons as far as overall, other than maybe this is a little loose and I had to tighten the two hex screws at the bottom to prevent the firing bar from sticking. But otherwise, um, very cool mod, and uh, I'd like to thank Smock for sending it out for me to take a look at with you guys. Trying to keep it short. Um, so, if you guys uh, like the way that I did the review, if you didn't, let me know. Comment, like, subscribe, all that YouTube junk. Alright. Thanks for watching. See you guys.